we'd had a meeting with some of our leadership at the church. And uh, I said, we've got to love this city. We've got to love Memphis. And one of our guys said in jest, okay, he said, nobody loves Memphis. Now, today, that's kind of hard to believe because everybody's talking about loving Memphis. But in 2007, he was pretty much right. David Coombs and I went down to see Mayor Harrington on the day before Thanksgiving in 2007 and just told him, said, look, we want to help the city, we want to help the schools, we don't want, we're not looking for a photo op, this is not just something, you know, we really want to invest. Bellevue Lowe's Memphis really came out of the heart of our pastor. I don't think any of us knew what it would look like, but we were excited that it was happening. When we first started, uh, we just kind of went after everything and did all kinds of work projects and really tried to focus on just getting out in the community. It would be real easy to write checks and meet the needs of people, but it doesn't move our people uh, to get involved in making the Great Commission happen. We're not running from the city we're running to the city. And so that's the mentality behind Bellevue Loves Memphis. Find a need and meet it, find a hurt and heal it, and then use it as a platform to tell people about Jesus. And we come to church and share love, and this is just a wonderful time to get up on a Saturday morning and come and uh, tangibly show that love. We are thrilled to be out here with all the Bellevue people who have volunteered to help make our school a better place. When we think of missions, a lot of times we think of, of mission work as being out of the country. But there's a lot of mission work here in, in Memphis. If we're going to change the world, it's got to start here. I see Bellevue Loves Memphis as the perfect ministry to introduce ourselves to different communities. I appreciate the effort that the Bellevue Church is doing, joining and supporting our church. I've been practicing in Memphis a little over 50 years. There's people out there that literally cannot afford to pay for dental services. It's been great. It's been a, it's been a blessing from God for them to show up and do all this for me. It makes me want to cry. Uh, I'll be able to smile. God really prompted me to go out into the city and recruit churches to adopt our inner city schools and take responsibility for helping these children be reading proficiently by the end of third grade. The best praise I can give is I sure hope we have it next year. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's been fantastic. It's incredibly, incredibly helpful to just have that one-on-one -on -one with a student and to have that caring relationship. It's just the way they have volunteers. It's just great. Jesus himself said, that we're to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And I guarantee you, I would not let my child go to bed hungry or have a subpar education. So how can I let the children of my city experience that? I think Bellevue Lowe's Memphis work days will always be a part of who we are, but I would love to see more people kind of get involved in that week to week or month to month ministry where they're starting to see the gospel really make an impact in a person's life in a consistent basis. We are willing to go everywhere in our city, show Christ and see Him move in the hearts of people. And then as we do that, God's gonna do a work in us and then He's gonna do a work in our city. And I just really believe that that's what's gonna happen. I look forward to it when we can say, hey, this is, this is what revival looks like. It looks like Memphis. The Lord loves this city and I believe too I really do, that we are strategically located in the middle of a country so that we can be a catalyst for spiritual awakening in Memphis and beyond. And I'm praying for nationwide revival that resonates from Memphis like tremors of an earthquake. I believe that the best part of Bellevue loves Memphis and Jesus loves Memphis and the gospel invading Memphis, I think the best days are yet to come. <laughs>